Australia is a very large country with a varied landscape. It has rainforests, the outback desert, and the seaside. It also has an area in the north where there's art that's over 30,000 years old, the rock paintings of the Dreamtime painters. Long before there were roads and towns, Aboriginal rock artists painted the Dreamtime, the Aboriginal story of the beginning of the world. There are large numbers of these paintings under the ground of Kakadu National Park, which is actually owned by the Aboriginal people. Thompson Yilijuru is an artist who still paints in the traditional Aboriginal way. When I used to go stay with my grandfather, I used to tell him, please, tell me the stories from my ancestors. Ian Morris is a naturalist who has spent most of his life in Australia. He has studied these paintings and feels they are unlike any other paintings in the world. They say uh, the, the rock art here goes back uh, almost as far as, as any known civilization in the oldest uh, uh, art records of, of human civilization in the world. The Aboriginal people have most likely lived in what is now Australia for at least 40,000, possibly 100,000 years. This means that they are the oldest continuous human culture on Earth. The ancient art of the Aboriginal people is like a history book and a guide to everyday life. Their pictures tell stories about birds that tell kangaroos when hunters are approaching. They also tell stories of war. Long ago, Aboriginal people believed that the paintings had special power. They believed that if they painted a lot of fish, they would catch a lot of fish. The seasons of the year were important as well. They painted certain images only at specific times of the year. Certain groups painted certain animals. For example, if a group painted turtles, that's the only thing they painted. They didn't paint kangaroos. These painters saw their art as special and thought it kept the earth healthy. However, some things have now changed. The last real rock artists died in the 1960s. Today, Aboriginal artists paint on bark, paper and wood. That way they can carry it and sell it easily. Nowadays, Aboriginal art is also getting more and more famous. People everywhere want to buy it and prices are sometimes very high. One piece of Aboriginal art can now cost tens of thousands of Australian dollars. Unfortunately, there's now a problem with the original rock paintings. Many of them are losing their colour due to time and bad weather. Insects and reptiles also walk over the paintings and make them lose their colour. There are all these um, agents of deterioration acting on the art. We can only slow that down. Fortunately, there's a lot of rock art in Australia and they're finding more all the time. Many Aboriginal people are trying to keep in contact with their history in modern times. The rock art of the Dreamtime painters may just help them. Hopefully, these paintings will help save the memories of the great civilization who owned this land long ago and who still own it now.